Engage defensive. Engage defensive. Well, hello, welcome back to David Herkey's Flight Sims. In my previous movie, you saw the modern recreation of the Dam Busters mission. Now, I added some sites, SA2s, from the VRS tack pack, placing them at known flak positions as a challenge to the modern combat aircraft, the FA-18E, that I was using. Now I've discovered a way to implement AAA anti-aircraft artillery into the mission. So here's a very short tutorial on how I managed to do it. But first, here's a few clips of the AAA in action on the Dam Busters route over Dolman Flak and the Myrna Dam. I say we're a bit angry down there now. The avionics damaged, uh, we'll go for an emergency landing. Nearest airport, Paderborn. We lost the uh, interior lights, such as the damage. Hopefully, we can get the gear down. Job it's not dark, we can just about read the instrument.
Eject, eject. Ejecting. So as you can see, you're highly vulnerable now in prepared version 4. Anti-aircraft guns will shoot you down. So in order to place AAA anti-aircraft artillery into prepared version 4, your first step is to download a small program called FSCAI. Google it and you'll find it. And in it, you'll find the following folders. You'll find an options folder, preferences, the two important ones vehicles and weapons if we look at vehicles you can see a list of vehicles found in fsx p3d common stock vehicles which we can weaponize in prepared so we'll look at weapons this is the biggie now here we have a fully editable configuration suite for all the weapons we've got the list up here of the things that we can alter We've got the roll, air, ground or sea, range, practical range in meters, target must be in this range for the weapon to be fired by the AI and this is the clever bit. This program will find you, it knows where you are. The weapons will track you within a limit that you can set here. Minimum altitude, if the user is below this altitude the weapon won't fire. Maximum altitude is for surface to air weapons, the maximum practical altitude the rounds can hit. For guided missiles it's the minimum range. The lock minimum, the lock maximum, the burst. Uh, this is extremely interesting how many bullets can be fired, fired in each shot by AI. How many bursts the gun can make before reloading. How many seconds it takes before reload and obviously before they're able to resume shooting. How many times the vehicle carrying the weapon can reload before needing resupply? How about that? Cone, the degrees from the weapon's direction on either side that a target can be acquired. 360 is all the way around, obviously. Speed, how fast the bullets or missile from this weapon travels to its target in knots. Potency, when the user hits, this is the percentage chance of serious damage. This is modelled flying the VRS Superbug. I was hit eight times with the, uh, let me see which one was it, it was the ZPU-2, which is here on this line. Two hits of the 14.5 AAA Tracer caused damage. Eight actually disabled the avionics, which you'll see shortly. Uh, where are we up to? Radius, blast radius around the point of impact in meters should be zero for non-explosive bullets. Armor, the maximum armor class this projectile can damage. Uh, range is the different for, air, for airplane types versus ground vehicles. And so on and so forth. It is an extremely clever, potent little program. And as I say, it's called FSCAI in alpha and it can be downloaded and googled and downloaded so there you have it with those two the sim director and fsc ai we can place units so you execute fsc ai once the sim is running but first we'll load sim director and uh, go ahead and place some units it takes quite some time to load sim director so uh, Good deal of patience is required. So once Sim Director has loaded the entire scenery from prepared, you'll be presented with the following screen. This is you, and we're at the default Elgin Air Force Base. Well, we don't want to modify this area, so what we need to do is go to File, and here you can open any pre-saved missions. Um, we'll go for New. And it will again load the terrain data. So once Sim Director has loaded in all your scenery, we want to start placing some units. Now we want to populate our objects here in this window. So we select Tab. 
and then from the category ground vehicles. Now this will take some time to populate. I've populated this previously. It took me about 10 minutes. It's a case of just being patient and letting this board fully populate. And then we can see we have BMPs, BDRM, BTR60, Fansong Radar. Now these are all entities present in P3D. You can also see FSD Dream Team's cargo loader as well. Uh, that won't shoot at you. Um, and of course the deadly Zoo 23 4s. So we just select one. So we simply select one, BMP1, copy it over, find a position, and hey presto, there he is. We can center on him, we can rotate him, obviously not that way, position any way you like. So if we open the ground vehicle BMP1 panel on the right and just scroll down here we can see latitude and longitude and altitude of the unit and this is where we can get some very interesting results. I've used a TPS file from VRS from TACPAC and we have some latitude and longitude coordinates for this particular mission. I've built some SAM sites here so as an example let's place this BMP exactly on the SAM site uh, on ground, yes, we'll have him on ground level. Obviously you can start to appreciate the power of SimDirector. It is a very powerful program. So he's now gone to this location where we have the SAM site. So uh, he's no longer at Elgin Air Force Base. So let's have a look at him. There he is. Just like the scenery load. We should see the scenery momentarily as it loads. Obviously it's orbic so it's uh, taking some time to load. I find SimDirector seems to run in um, definitely 32-bit. It seems to run slower than, uh, than everything else and you have to give it time to load. There it is, it's loaded. So that's uh, that's actually loaded to the coordinates I've just inputted and it's put us on ground level automatically calculated 369 feet 369 decimal 694 feet very accurate and of course we can move him around don't like him there put him anywhere you like obviously not in water and um, we can edit him point him in any direction so that's uh, you get the gist of how to place vehicles and we can do the same with any of these other vehicles but we want vehicles that can shoot at us and this is where the extremely clever FSCAI program comes in so that's it how to place artificially intelligent AAA into prepared version 4 you need a clever little program called FSCAI. It's in alpha, freeware, free to download. Install at your own risk, although I find it absolutely problem free. You need SimDirector, part of prepared version 4. FSCAI checks and is aware if you're using TACPAC. So the two work hand in hand. And of course, uh, I use the VRS Superbug but you can use any TypePack compatible aircraft. So come on you developers, let's have a Lancaster compatible with TypePack, please.
So enjoy your flight simming in prepared with a new aspect and I hope you found this video informative. Take care. Bye for now.